It's so amazing that I get to be part of your WWE story. You're welcome. Excuse me? Your debut was fire. Wearing that TBD shirt and grabbing the mic from Saxton. And I'm obviously always part of anything that's fire around here. So I'm going to be your tag team partner. Actually, that's not a bad idea. It'd be smart for me to get some momentum in a tag match or two. I'm in. Great, because Troy already okayed it, and he's setting up a match. B-T-T-F. What? Best tag team forever? Don't worry, you'll catch on. What's coming her way? Chip, chip. On the mark. This is troublesome for Deville. What do you think of the shirt? Stunning, right? What is that? Pretty weird that you don't recognize your own shirt. An improved version of her own shirt, thank you very much. You made such a splash by wearing it in your debut, I thought we could both wear it. So you improved it by bedazzling it? The bedazzling has added meaning too. We'll be the totally beautiful duo. Because you're known for TBD, I'm known for being totally beautiful, and we're a duo. It's perfect. It's something. It's brilliant, that's what it is. Don't worry, we had one made for you too. And they'll be on the WWE shop by next week. Honestly, Bestie, I'm so confused by your reaction. Why are you not loving this stunning piece of merchandise? Honestly? I don't like that you didn't ask me. TBD is my history, not yours. I'm not okay with this. Wow, that's pretty dramatic and confusing. You wore a TBD shirt in your debut. You clearly wanted more people to know about it, and this will do exactly that. It's not the same. No, it's not. Now you're a WWE superstar under contract. And the merch team is all in on this, so wear the shirt and be a tag team. Walk out together, okay? Fine. Oh, and we also thought it would be great if Carmella got the pin in your match tonight. It'll go a long way in establishing you guys. I'm not sure I can promise that. <laughs> of course you can. Gotta run. Thanks for being such a good sport. See you out there, bestie. Team TBD is ready for action. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring. Totally beautiful duo. You know what, Saxton? They're my new favorite tag team. We know why you like them, Corey, but I actually think they have real potential, especially with Cap leading the way. What a fantastic victory for TBD. For you, mostly. Listen, I- You're not? No, especially not if it means using the TBD logo like this. Oh, well, no worries. That's not a problem at all. It's not? Of course not. I can just as easily repurpose TBD to mean totally beautiful ding or something. And you don't have to team with me or wear the shirt. Hey, by the way, do you think it's okay to say Dame if I'm using it myself or does that get into a weird space? I don't think you're getting it, Carmella. Fine, I'll figure out another D word that means a fabulous single lady competitor. Dish? Doll? Diva? Hmm, maybe not Diva. No, I'm not gonna let the shirt of a company I've built from the ground up be stolen by a 
self-obsessed clout vampire who only wanted to team up with me to hitch your wagon of mine. Wow, getting a bit heated there, bestie. Well, if that's how you really feel. It is. Then we can have a match for the right to wear the t-shirt. No, it's not yours to even claim to have the right. Maybe not, but I'm pretty sure Troy likes my version. And rights or not, I can always just keep wearing the shirt regardless. I'll see you in the ring. It's one half of the short-lived team of TBD. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We know the TBD name that's up for grabs here is deeply important to Kat. Because we know where her loyalty really is, Cole. Unlike Carmella, who is WWE through and through. You can be 100% sure that Cap is going to do everything she can to win the TBD name. It's Carmella looking to make the beautiful duo a solo act. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, We know that there is only one woman in WWE who is a beautiful duo all by herself, and that's Carmella. What does that even mean, Corey? You're just trying to get out of laundry duty. The most beautiful woman in WWE is ready to be the sole proprietor of TBD. After a very short honeymoon, it appears the totally beautiful duo is no more. It was like a tag team relationship speed run. But now, who will walk away with control of their team name? Until this match concludes, I guess the answer to that is TBD. Carmella up the turnbuckles. Up high. Oh, got caught. Body slam. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Oh, that'll leave a mark. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. Cover. Denying a two count there. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Ooh, what a forearm club. Good. Golly, Miss Molly! Nice Japanese arm drag. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Hoisting their opponent back to their feet. I don't know who's feeling this more, her or the crowd. Oh, what a hip toss. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. From the middle rope, big miss right there. Carmella planted one there. She's taking some big hits here. Carmella gets waylaid. Ooh. What a chop. Fez press. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Oh, what a four. So finally, 
created some separation. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Watch this. Watch the athleticism here. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Now, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. She returns the favor there. Hurricanrana. Using the elbow as a weapon. She's going up. Top rope here. Perched up top. Whoa, what a landing. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. She throws her back in. executed. Sharp chop. Placed in the corner. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. Look at this agility and athleticism. That scissors. And this has got to be it. A kick out at two. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Slam. Looking for the victory. There's two. No, she kicks out. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Ooh. Ooh, ouch. Counter on Carmella. Launching. Kicked out. Going for it. Trying to step through. Roll on their belly. Wow, the power that takes is insane. Oh my goodness, this may be over quick. Counters. Cover. Gets reversed. Shoulders down. That came out of nowhere. And an unexpectedly quick end to this match. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked. Someone's making an impression. Glad to see you managed to make a break from Carmella. She can be a lot. Now that I'm back to being a singles wrestler, how about giving me an opportunity to take that Women's World Championship off your hands? I like your confidence. Not enough to give you a title match, but still. See you around. Great to see you in a WWE locker room, Cap. Although a little surprised, considering what you said about this place while we were on the indies together. What can I say? I'm trying new things. You don't have some secret beef with me like Shotzi apparently does. Honestly, I don't know what her deal is. You were always great to me when I was booked at TBD. Glad to hear it. So what's your game plan here? Game plan? I don't know what you mean. Keep having matches, win, repeat. Oh, geez. What? You're on a different level now. You can't just do what you've always done and expect to succeed. You have to do the work. For instance, it's not just winning, it's how you win. What do you mean? Winning in ways that make an impact. I know you know your stuff, but I'd be happy to give you some WWE specific pointers. I trained wrestlers while I was on the indies, so I'm used to helping people find their groove. I actually appreciate that a lot, Candice. I'm trying to put my best foot forward here. Of course, lesson one. Making your opponent tap makes a statement to both the WWE Universe and the locker room. Everyone's talented around here, but if they acknowledge you in the ring, they have to acknowledge you behind the curtain. Reasonable enough. I know you have a match with Chelsea Green coming up. 
make her tap and win by submission. I don't know what choice she has except to tap. And that'll about do it, folks. Hey, mind filling me in on this pitch that Troy messaged me about? Apparently, I had a very good idea. Oh, sorry. I meant to tell you about it first, but I got too excited and I couldn't stop myself from spilling to Troy. But it's good, I promise. <laughs> okay. Your submission match definitely increased your buzz within the WWE universe, but what could make an even bigger impact while keeping it fresh? You tell me. Knocking out your opponent. Well, wouldn't be the first time. Exactly. And the WWE Universe will eat it up, too. Troy's putting it all together, and Piper Niven's in. Apparently, she's still got some lingering issues about a former name she had and wants to blow off steam. It'll be an official WWE-sanctioned KO match. I like it, and I'm excited. I've got some steam of my own to blow off. That's the spirit. Believe me, it'll pay off. Our intentions are here. The official has to call. Hey, any chance you've been talking to Candice LeRae lately? Yeah, how did you know? Well, believe it or not, I've seen this before. Notice anything in common about your last two opponents? They both lost to me? True, but they also both worked the indies, like you. So? Candace has this thing about being seen as the best wrestler around here who came out of the independent scene. Someone new comes in, she talks up ring work and brutal finishes above all else. And those brutal finishes? The more the other indie darlings take each other out, the more Candace can stand tall as the indie queen. So Candace is using me? Big yep, unfortunately. She even talked up about how she used to... Used to train wrestlers on the indies. Heard that before, too. Honestly, I'm not sure why Candace holds on to her indie street cred so hard. It's something to be proud of, for sure. But she takes it to a pretty extreme level, trying to eliminate all competition. I get it, though. All of us who came up through that world have a lot to be proud of. Even if I don't appreciate her manipulation... I understand why she reps that part of her background. Hey, don't forget, I came from the Indies too. But I don't understand why someone would want to be known for what they've done over what they're doing now. If someone was talking about my indie work as opposed to what I've accomplished in WWE, yeesh. Don't say suck in the past. You're here to build your future. Anyway, something to think about when you're dealing with Candace. Welcome a superstar who defines tenacious, brave, and driven. The following is an Iron Woman match. Making her way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. From indie legend to WWE superstar, Cap is always ready for action. Yeah, this isn't some smoke-filled bingo hall, Saxton. It's WWE. If the so-called captain wants to prove herself here, she's got to do it in the ring. Here comes the Poison Pixie of WWE. And 
from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae. One of the most decorated female superstars in the world. Surprising ability in such a small package. A win here tonight will reestablish LeRae. Well, you can tell that's in the forefront of her mind here tonight. Start the clock in this Iron Woman match. The captain and Candice LeRae are going to put it all on the line to see who can best rep their indie cred on the big stage. With these two, I'm going to predict a high-scoring affair. This should be good. Oh, from the rope. She avoids the contact. Destroy your nose. Oh, gouging the face. That's unnecessary. Come on. That's not right. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. What a chop. Fez press and the piston like right hands. Fez press raining down right hands. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Oh, what a leg drop. A drop in the leg. Cover! And pops the shoulder up. She still has her expelling unnecessary energy with that attempt. Elbow. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. And pure cheapness we just saw with that attack. A uh, jumping stop to the gut. Tip. Oh, good God, reverse Hurricane Rana. Don't be surprised if they're seeing little cartoon birds after that one, gentlemen. The Red Brand has been going strong for nearly three decades, and it's because of matchups like this one. The Monday Night Raw spotlight burns bright people. Look out! Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing! A huge miss! There's bad timing, and then there's... Look at this! Ah, oh, straight to the floor! Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. her back in from ringside. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Running clothesline. The clock not much of a factor yet, as we've seen nothing but zeros on the board. No falls thus far, but this is what we expected. Every decision being carefully calculated. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Placed into the corner. Whack. Oh, oh, God. A running slap. That's just insulting. Disgusting behavior. There was no respect shown there. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Ooh, she responds with a counter. And the calf kick shoulders down. And she kicks out at two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Watch out. Driving their opponent down with a bulldog. Time win. Two. She's still got something left. I can't.
can't believe it. The people can't believe it. I don't think the referee can believe it. She's got her where she wants her. Uh-oh. Suicide dive to the outside. Well, does it better. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Byron, I love this move. This is one of my all-time favorites. The Wicked Stepsister. Can you believe it? Candice LeRae. Oh, look the stop. Oh, man. They do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Lands the cross by Under the cover! Oh. She sneaks one in there. Here, there's a decision to be made. Do you stay on the attack or play defense? Thrown back in under the ropes. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. There it is. This Iron Man match will continue no matter what happens here, but could pick up a fall. Can she hang on? Tap, tap, and that puts a point on the board. Candace was waiting on that. A stalemate of counters. Get slaughtered with the axe handle. Double leg takedown. Step through looking for a submission here. Legs are locked up. Uh oh. Oh, look the stop. Candace showing how tough it is to compete with Mrs. Wrestling. The table started to turn on the so called. Poison Pixie. This matchup starting to take a visible toll on the way. Boom! Boom! Driving the elbow. Knee to the side of her head. Oh, what an elbow! Chin. End of regulation time is near. If the score remains like this, we will have a draw. With the score tied, the energy in here is electric. Everyone is on the edge of their seat now. Oh. 
chick chick on the mark. Lorraine's on her last breath. Pin. And now she comes up with a score late in the match. Evading offense. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Oh, yeah. Time runs out, winner. and there's the Iron Man match winner. And a stunning ending to this Iron Man match. It takes a lot of stamina to outlast the opposition in a match like this. How Candace handles things moving forward is going to make all the difference in the world. This loss could eat at her, or she could decide. There you are. I've been meaning to have a word with you ever since you got signed to WWE. Gotta say, I'm enjoying what you're doing over here on Raw. Why do I sense a butt coming? What? A butt isn't a bad thing. It's positive. It's exciting. It's an opportunity. I think you've been doing great. But I'm just curious if your particular talents might be more suited to SmackDown. Are you trying to poach me, Miz? Poach? No. Entice, persuade, lure, sure. But I'd never poach from William Regal. Right. I think I'm good on Raw for now, Miz. But thanks for the compliment. Ah, I see. Another superstar is desperate to sit underneath my hallowed learning tree. Why would you say that? Well, you're still new around here, and you clearly don't fit in. Pretty early to make that assessment, don't you think? That's not the point. You know what you need? Advice from someone who's not you? Exposure. I, of course, benefit from not only being multi-talented in all areas of my life, but from being the hottest talk show host in all of WWE with my show, Ding Dong Hello. Now, being on a show like that will get you exposure. Do you want me to come on Ding Dong Hello, Bailey? <laughs> of course not, you dummy. I only book stars not desperate newbies. Everyone wants to be on my show. It's very competitive. Then what are we doing here, Bailey? Patience, sapling. I was getting to that. Like I was saying, superstars are very competitive for press. And if you wanted exposure, I heard the bump is booking the winner of an upcoming Fatal 4-Way. Then I should try to get in that Fatal 4-Way. You may be annoying, but you do have a point. I'll talk to Regal. Wow. Original idea. Thanks for letting me know your detailed plans. Crazy. And that does it. Beats the odds and gets the fatal four-way here. Hey, congrats on your victory tonight. I'd love to have you on the bump this week, if you're free. I'd love to be on the show. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Of course. We're excited, too. If I'm being honest. Raquel Rodriguez was the strong favorite to win, but it'll actually be great to get a different perspective from someone new to WWE. I can certainly offer that. So, what do you want to talk about? We can tailor the conversation to whatever you think the WWE Universe wants to hear about. It'll be great for them to get a chance to know you. I'd love to talk about my goals in WWE. It would be a great way to get the WWE Universe behind what I want to do. Sounds great. Can't wait. We're happy to bring in someone new to the bump who's getting some momentum with her win in a fatal four-way last week on Raw. If you don't know her, you soon will. She told me I could call her this. The Cap. Thanks for having me. Just to get this out of the way, I want to point out that you have your own mic today. No need to steal mine. Jeez, fine. I get it. Have you two actually had a chance to talk since your infamous Raw debut? We have not, but I want to say from the bottom of my heart, Saxton, I do not apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're just getting started here, but you must already have some idea what you'd like to accomplish here in WWE. Well, Kayla... Hey! Oh, what the... Oh! Hey! Stop it! Can we get some help in here? Let's go to break.
I guess Kayla Braxton meant what she said. She's here to support the cap. It's not like Kayla to get involved in a match. Raquel really must have gotten under her skin. I can't get no... Satisfaction! Can Raquel come back from that? Raquel is asking for a rematch. Why? Kayla may have come out and distracted Raquel, but I beat her fair. Nevertheless, WWE management has decided to grant Raquel's request. Don't worry, we know what we're doing. And since you are both apparently so hungry for press, it'll be WWE's first ever microphone match. Huh? Brilliant, I know. No disqualifications, but the only weapons you'll have access to are WWE microphones. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> mics can't really hurt anyone. Uh, can we at least use the mics to cut promos during the match? I mean, whose idea even was this? I can tell by your misplaced mockery that you have never had a microphone thrown at you. I'll have you know that they can actually hurt a lot. So whoever thought of this match was really smart <laughs> it was you wasn't it it'll be an instant classic bringing indie cred and attitude to the wwe ring it's cap the following contest is a microphone match Making our way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The look of determination on Cap's face speaks volumes, Corey. This is a woman looking to climb all the way to the top of WWE. It's good to have goals, but we're just going to have to see if she has what it takes to make the climb. I have my doubts. Six feet of raw power. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel seems to always wear a big smile, just loves to perform for the crowd. Yeah, but if you get on her bad side and that smile vanishes, you are faced with an angry woman with muscles for days. Few can contend with the unbridled strength of Raquel Rodriguez. Plenty of hard work maintaining this unbelievable physique. And then she puts it to work in the ring to devastating effect. For the first time ever in WWE, we are having a microphone match. Enough amplifying sound. Tonight, these mics will amplify pound. That was more force than this stipulation, Saxton. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Good timing with that reversal. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a response against Raquel. Knife edge chop. Solid connection. Big time clothesline. Good grief. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Whoa, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. I don't think they're about to make a speech. Oh, man. Just 
is continuing to dismantle their opponent. Oh, the barricade. That might not be what she was looking for, but she'll have no problem using it as a weapon. Retrieving a spare microphone from under the ring. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Look at her stumble back up. Prep. Take off. See it in senton from the top. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. That's still a quick kick out at this point. to make a statement. Getting set up for something in the corner. This is dirty. A shot like that to the ego could really shake you up mentally. Oh, what a kick. Right to the gut. Ooh. Kick right to the gut. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by count out. Into the ring again. Rodriguez shows the wheel of it. Oh. oh, yeah. She is really showing her confidence. Saw it coming. So powerful, so big, so strong. Taking her opponent down. Big splash. Can she do it here? Fends off the three count. She's still as determined as ever. Look at the airplane spin off a of front face lock. Look at this power. Going to know you're left from your right after something like that. She found what she was looking for. Get ready for a mock check. Cover. Two. Almost ended it there. She just will not go away. Places her right in the corner. Reversal from Raquel. Great counter. Buster. That is it. Clubbing shot between the shoulder blades and now perched. On the middle rope, Tornado DDT. She's taking a beating here. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. So finally created some separation. Uh-oh. She's staying on the chicken. On the mark. That could finish off the count. Cover. What a kick out. She's not done yet. I think it took everything Raquel had left in her to pop. Attempt. Confidence must be waning as she hit. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. There it is. Oh, nowhere to go. Nowhere to hide. Could be tap, tap time. This is the worst case. She needs to find a way out and uses her power to escape. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Keep Rodriguez at bay. She's got an answer for that. Shoulder tackle. The end is looming now. She is barely standing at the
at this point. Lighten up the chest and now straight to the knee. Power slam. Raquel has her shot lined up. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. This is going to be nasty. Doing whatever it takes to win. Highlight real time. Oh, man. Whoa, Carolina. And anguish on Raquel's face as she takes on more damage. Rodriguez. Oh, it's coming. Hold on. She's closing the book on this one. Tonight wasn't the night for Raquel Rodriguez. Tonight's loss will stay with Raquel Rodriguez for a long time. This is not how Raquel envisioned her night ending.